let us understand what is parameterization in load runner Parameterization is nothing but replacing a constant value with a parameter and the parameter may contain multiple values. Suppose you have to do load testing of 50 users. Then we will parameterize one value from the script and we will load it for 50 users. The script will run for 50 users and create a load of 50 users on the server. This is the whole concept of parameterization. Now, we talk in terms of virtual user generator when we record a script using single user we have to run the script for multiple users then we have to do parameterize single user value you can see in the script we have recorded the script using value jojo as username and bin as password so what i am doing i am creating multiple users with different name and same password bean so now we have recorded script for single user and for running multiple values we have to try that single value in order to make a script run so let us see how we do parameterization so it is not that difficult it is simple only and uh, now i am opening one solution now before parameterization we know that we have to do correlation if correlation is required here in this script correlation has been done so now this is value single value user jojo and password is bin so in our case what we are doing we are creating several username with same password so in order to run those usernames we have to parameterize that value here single value jojo is given which means script will run for only one user suppose we have to run the script for 50 users we have to give 50 username in place of jojo so we have to parameterize it. How we will do it? We will do it as given below. You see, replace with parameter, create new parameter. I will be creating one parameter name. Here I have created parameter name as username. There are many types of parameter type, but mostly we use file system. It is easy, easy to use. And now this is the parameter, we can give multiple values to it. So we will go to parameter properties and click on edit with notepad in order to populate it with multiple values. Here you can see single value is written there. I am, I have created this much of user and uh, this user all has same password bin so this is the user and now my script will be i can run the script for multiple users previously it was single user now there are many users so we can run the script for that much number of users given in the parameter properties file name you can see it here now there is one more thing select new row is sequential three values random unique like this so we have to use it carefully 
it is simple there are three methods available sequential random unique sequential means one by one after one sequence then another then another then another it will go sequentially random means it will go randomly unique means the value will be unique in sequentially what happens that if the value is less then again the count starts from zero but if the value is unique it means all the values should be unique that has to be used this is the main difference uh, the name itself is telling that sequential method assigns data to virtual user sequentially as a user virtual user assesses the data table it takes the next row of data if they know n of value in the data table virtual user returns the first value in the table continuing in a loop until the end of the loop random random means it can choose any value it is as simple as that there is no much complexity in it and there is no formula for it but we have to be little careful while using this option unique and things to be kept in mind that all the data in the data file should be unique the unique method assigns a unique consequential value to the parameter for each user in this case you make sure that there is enough data in the table for all the virtual users so it is very simple to use there is no much thing to understand in it so you will get to learn know about all these thing after practicing it it's very simple to use and uh, they know so much complexity to use uh, sequentially will take value one by one now update value on each each iteration means if there are five iteration value will uh, run the script for one value then for other iteration value will change but for each occurrence within the script if there are five parameter name then the value will change for five parameter so this is the difference between each iteration and each occurrence and once means the value will be used only once if it is sequential and value will update only once it is the meaning of once it will not update value on each iteration and each occurrence it will change value only once this is the difference so now our single user is popped up with multiple value this is nothing but parameterization it plays important role in doing parameterization thank you